Hello, episode 5 of the tutorial on variation. In this episode, we are taking a question concerning the partial variation. In our previous lesson, we did the introduction into partial variation, how we can write the equation out of the question. So let's take a question in relation with that. They said the cost of manning a house is partly a constant and partly varies as the number of people and in the house. So for eight people, the cost is 70,000 and for 10 people, the cost is 90,000. So we have to find an expression for C in terms of what? N. And hence, find the weekly cost, that's C, for 12 people. So I mentioned in the previous lesson that question concerning partial variation will always relate into simultaneous equation. So let's first of all get the equation first. Since we are using C, which is the dependent variable, so we are going to start with C is equals to, we know it's a sum of two products of constant, so partly a constant. So in this case, I will use K1 plus partly varies as the number, meaning directly as the number N. So we have the constant 2N or N times K2. We are using K1, K2 to indicate the first constant and the second constant. This is the constant of variation and this is the fixed constant for partial variation. So the first question, write an expression for C in terms of N. Before we can find the cost, meaning we are looking for C, we can only find that if we know what the K1 and the K2 is. That is why these values are given unto us. Eight people 70,000, 10 people, 90,000. So we are going to write when your C equals to, okay, let's begin with N. Since when N is 8, your C is going to be 70,000. I will leave this, uh, the currency uh, aside so that we can be able to deal with the 70 when we are done we introduce our unit to it so we are going to do substitution so whatever i see the c i introduce this so i'll be having 70,000 is equals to k which is unknown k1 plus k2 times 8 meaning 8 times what k2 so this, we can't do anything because the K1 and the K2 are unknown. So we have our first equation. So for the second equation, when N equals to 10, your C is now 90,000 for the question. 10 and 90,000. So what do we do? We do our substitution. So 90,000 is equals to K1 plus and being 10 give us what 10k2 this become equation 2 so now we are going to solve these two equations simultaneously equation 1 and equation 2 how do we do that we normally eliminate one of the variables i prefer elimination and i can see the coefficient of k1 in the first equation is the same as this so i can easily eliminate the k1 by doing Equation 2 minus equation 1, meaning 90,000 minus 70,000. That will give us 20,000 equals to K1 minus K1 will give us 0. Now we have 10 K2 minus 8 K2. I believe will give us 2 K2, right? But we are looking for the constant of variation. So we divide by 2 divide by 2 meaning let me write this here your k2 is going to be if 2 goes here it give us 10,000 meaning the value of k2 in this expression is going to be 1000 
Since it's a simultaneous equation, we substitute back into one of the equations to get the K1. So let's use equation 1. Meaning, if you put K equals to 10,000, we are going to have 70,000 equals to K1 plus 10,000, which is the K2, multiplying what? 8. The 8 is already there. The K2, the constant is multiplying. So what do we get? 70,000 equals to K plus what? 80,000. I believe 10,000 times 8 will be 80,000. This is K1. You can see this is a simple linear equation. We are going to subtract the 80,000 from both sides. And that will give rise to K1 equals to let your 70,000 be there. Then you subtract your 80,000 from it. That gives you K1 to be negative 10,000. So the value of K1 is negative 10,000. The value of K2 is 10,000. So now we can substitute both K1 and K2 into the original expression that we did for C in terms of what? N. So per substitution, we are going to have C equals to K1, which is minus 10,000 plus K2, which is 10,000 times N. That is what we are having. So in this case, what are we looking for? We are going to look for the cost when N is now 12. So we are looking for 12 people. So this means your C will be negative 10,000 plus 10,000 times 12. So this will be negative 10,000 plus 12 times this will be 12 with our four zeros, meaning 120,000. So this will mean that if you subtract 10,000 from 120,000, you will be left with what? 110,000. So in this case, therefore, the weekly cost for 12 people is going to be, now your Ghana CD can come 110,000 Ghana cities. So you can see, even though this also involves simultaneous equation, the approach is just the same. First, find the constant, then substitute to find one other variable. It could be the dependent variable or the independent variable. I believe the concept of partial variation is well understood by you. Any question in this form, you could be able to solve it. Come back to this space for more examples on partial variation. Share, like, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Bye-bye.